Hold on, little kitty. Just watch this. Wait, did that rock just move? Not a rock at all. That's a deadly fish in disguise. The stonefish. So, let me take the opportunity to answer. How dangerous is the stonefish? Zoom in! Imagine walking barefoot in shallow tropical waters, enjoying the warmth of the sun and the cool touch of the sea. Suddenly, you step on something that looks just like a rock, but it's a lie. That rock might be one of the most venomous fish in the world, the stonefish. Now, before you panic, let us learn more about them. Stonefish get their name from their remarkable ability to blend into their surroundings. Covered in mottled brown, grey and reddish patterns, they look almost identical to rocks or coral rubble. This disguise is not just for defence, it's also for offence. Yes, stonefish are ambush predators. Instead of chasing prey, they lie motionless, waiting for unsuspecting prey to swim by. In less than the blink of an eye, they snap up their meal. But while their hunting method is impressive, what really grabs attention is their venom. Along their dorsal fin, stonefish carry 13 sharp spines that can inject venom. When a person steps on a stonefish, those spines act like hypodermic needles, driving venom deep into the tissue. The venom contains powerful toxins that attack the nervous system and the cardiovascular system. Victims often describe the pain as excruciating, sometimes worse than broken bones, swelling, difficulty breathing, nausea and even shock can follow. Without treatment, a severe sting can be fatal. Though deaths are rare thanks to modern medicine. So, how dangerous are they really? Statistically, very few people pass away from stonefish stings today. This is because hospitals in regions where stonefish live, such as the Indo-Pacific, Northern Australia and parts of Southeast Asia, stock anti-venom. Doctors can also treat stings with hot water immersion since heat helps break down the proteins in the venom and eases the pain. Still, the danger should not be underestimated. A sting in a remote area, far from medical help, could quickly become life-threatening. Interestingly, scientists study stonefish venom not just for anti-venom production, but also for potential medical uses. Some components of the venom have been investigated for their ability to affect blood pressure or block nerve signals, which might one day inspire new treatments. In this way, the stonefish represents both danger and opportunity, the same qualities that make venomous animals valuable to science. For everyday beachgoers, the main lesson is awareness. Wearing protective footwear, shuffling your feet instead of stepping firmly, and paying attention to warning signs in stonefish habitats can greatly reduce the risk of stings. You see, stonefish don't actively chase or attack humans. Accidents happen when they are stepped on. In other words, they are dangerous because of their defenses, not because of any desire to harm us. So, respecting their power while appreciating their role in nature helps us stay safe and curious about the world's most intriguing animals. Trivia time! Did you know a stonefish can stay out of water for up to 24 hours? Yes, their tough slimy coating 
keeps their skin moist and helps them to breathe air through their gills, even on land. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Richard Hazel. Hope you learned something amazing today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Pinox, zooming out. Kitty, drop it. That's not a rock, that's the stonefish itself. Mind it.